This is Asia Samson and today on Baptism Overland we are going camping for the first time since COVID-19. Alright, so we are actually headed to Itchituckney Springs, Florida. Um, it's the springs that's out here that we love going to. The springs is amazing. It's about a, it's only like a one and a half mile uh, kayaking trip. It's a little bit choppy as far as weather. We don't know how it's going to look like. There, it said 50% chance of rain, but every time we go to these springs, it always says that Florida is just so sketchy that you just never know. So sometimes you just got to get in and go anyway and hope for the best. Because if you try to go based off of weather, you'll never go because it will always say it's raining and then you get there and it's super sunny. So we will find out. As you can see, my wife is driving and it's also packed to the max here, which now tells me that I need more storage space somehow on the roof rack to get stuff because we are packed to capacity and my son is kind of just in there. Are you excited to go camping? Yes. Do you know the name of the camping ground we're going to? It's a Tutney. It's a All right, we just got to the campsite. Um, I have about an hour and a half to sort of set up camp. Everything is there, everything's kind of set up. My wife's gonna get ready to get set up here too. Uh, pretty cool campsite. Obviously, it's not really overlanding, it's more camping. Uh, but, gotta take what you can get and uh, let's get set up. So it's about 11 o'clock at night. Um, our friends haven't gotten here yet. They're running like super late. And my wife is in the tent now, putting my son to sleep. Uh, finally got the fire started. So we're just kind of chilling and wait till he knocks out a little bit and just hang out by the fire, get some sleep, wake up tomorrow and we go canoeing. Granted, the weather's good. It took me a while to get this fire started though because um, the firewood was damp, it's been raining, but thank God it's all cleared up now, so I hope it stays this way, otherwise it's gonna be really miserable. Making some shrimp tacos late at night because our friends just showed up, and so we had been, make, we made the salsa before we left the house and I made chipotle sauce and now we are grilling up the shrimp so it'll be fresh. Yeah. Look at these guys. Had to just show us up with their trailer. What? They don't know how to rough it anymore. It's from Australia. <laughs> and yet doesn't even know how to rough it anymore and needs a trailer to do all this stuff. Look at this guy. Fancy. Had to be all fancy. <laughs> you see, you know, the guy who used to teach me about you the life of simplicity God. is here you with this monstrosity of a trailer. I mean, it's so many. <laughs> it's so many right there. 
It's not like I got the biggest one. It's not even the biggest one here, bro. I fell asleep at like 3 a.m. last night, but now I am having to wake up early because we are going to the springs later and going kayaking and canoeing. Our friends are all here now, so this should be a fun day today. Just gotta get started pretty early. Did you buy something? You'll have to wait. Did you buy something? You'll have to wait. For me, it's more of an activity. It's more of an activity. It's more of an activity. It's gonna, but you'll have to wait until tonight. Yep. Oh, yes. yes. Finally going down the river. It's really relaxing. Cool. We have some issues. Uh, they're not doing actual kayaks because of COVID. And so here we are. It's my wife. Hi, Eris. issue with uh, our neighbors because they rented a primitive site and we're supposed to have electricity here and yet we are they're trying to grab on our electricity but it is what it is I mean we don't really need it except for the trailer uh, you know they, they want to take out our um, it's like a war bro a war for electricity who's gonna win I'm trying to take our they're trying to take our electricity from us. You want primitive for a reason. They're gonna want, we know. They want primitive, bro. I wasn't trying to do a primitive camp yeah, situation. We in there done that. But we'll see how it works. Last day, Sunday, so we already started packing up camp. Um, Try to employ a system, you know, uh, last out, first in. The last stuff that came out of the Jeep and, you know, set up at camp will be the first things to get packed up. And then the big things will be towards the end, like the tent, table, things like that. All right, so what are the things I learned? Uh, oof. Number one, I think we need to organize a little bit better. Cleaning up right now, I think we uh, are having a harder time because I have to remember where everything went and I have to remember how things went and things are kind of all over the place. Um, you know, so organizationally streamlining our process, I think is very important. You know, it just takes so much, man, when you go camping to pack up and uh, unpack you know set up and take down it takes so much time and it just takes away from you know 
having a good time at camp, you know, because it takes hours, at least for us right now. So I think I need to streamline that part of the process. This is a good idea, good time now to see why it's so appealing to have a rooftop tent because we can get a camp, pull it down, then when we leave, put it back up. Uh, Cause now I know I gotta go tear that thing down. I'm gonna need to get a storage system for the roof rack, like one of the room boxes or whatever. I think if I can keep a lot of the camp stuff there, that's a lot less stuff to take down uh, and set up, right? Because I, we had things all over the place, but if I can get it up there, I think that's gonna be way better. Uh, second thing is um, we had a lot of issues with ice. Uh, melting and uh, you know things not staying cold and then we just have this soggy mess of water everywhere um, you know from the ice so I'd love to get a fridge we would have to power that fridge though so I think the other thing that I want to do is I want to get a dual battery system because on the Jeep we didn't really get a chance to use all the outlets and plugs that I have in there because we didn't want to drain the battery um, so I think that um, getting a dual battery system will really really help in um in keeping things charged up and powered up uh during the trip without draining the main battery and then we can just you know run our fridge and run uh you know charging up devices and like e equipment things like that what did work out really great was the jackery the jackery was a champ um you know it we used it to charge up our phones pretty much and uh you know it only took about 86 percent of battery so that was really good i wish we were able to charge it up though using solar but we are in the woods and so line of sight to the sun is pretty blocked so i didn't really get a chance to um utilize solar so i have to definitely make sure that whatever it is that we do in the future um can give us power even if solar is not available water is also the other thing we have water here but you know if we are to go to a place i'm gonna need water um that we brought with us we brought a two gallon tank for drinking and it lasted us for two days so that's actually pretty good between me and my wife uh and my kid it only you know we used only about two gallons plus we you know uh used it to wash our hands so, so it actually lasted us pretty good so i think a five gallon non uh potable water um, to bring on board with us for washing hands and showers things like that would be great. The other thing is kitchen um, You know, I just took down our kitchen which is basically a table and a camp kitchen with grill Again, if I could put that grill inside the Jeep um, And I can have a system set up here on the tailgate um, Where I don't have to unload that stuff. That'll just make the process faster if I can have you know, our cutting board here, just put up a table and then I have my fridge and I have my grill and then maybe a scottle, then I think that would be super helpful without us having to take things down um, uh, when we unpack or having to set it up every time we get into camp, right? Didn't get a chance to uh, use the drone um, because the batteries kept dying on me and I think that's just because of the way the DJI Spark battery is, it kind of sucks. But, uh, you know, I have to figure out a way to keep those batteries charged up so that we can use it more often. Uh, and I also didn't get signal much here anyway to get the drone going. So, didn't get that many drone shots. I got some, but not enough. Now, we were lucky on this trip, um, that it was cool at night, hot in the day. So, uh, one other thing that I want to do is figure out a way to cool um, our tent uh, if we ever get to the situation where we're camping during the summer and it gets really, really hot. You know, a lot of people talk about camping and they want to heat things up. That's all. That's the only thing that I see a lot in the forums and in, on YouTube videos, but no one has really talked about cooling. You know, when you live in Florida, you kind of want don't want to be in a tent just sweating. Um, you know, so I think I want to find a way to cool the inside of that tent um better uh we had some fans but it didn't really really help you know and the jackery also didn't run one of the fans so i don't think it had enough uh amperage to to run a fan uh also i have to try to remember the things that i forgot to bring like i i somehow forgot even the most basic stuff man like i forgot to bring 
uh, sheets for us to sleep in, which is fine because it was kind of hot anyway, so we didn't really need the sheets. Um, but I forgot to bring that. Everybody got to, I forgot to bring oil. Uh, you know, I, I got so caught up in getting the equipment on point that I forgot the basic living stuff. You know, I was so enamored and so excited about bringing all the cool gadgets that I had been getting that I completely forgot just our basic stuff. Um, I forgot to bring, you know, like a couple of extra pots and pans for other stuff. I only brought like the, the, the cast iron skillet and I forgot to bring like just like a bowl. Like I even forgot to bring camping knives, um, you know, for cutting meat. I, you know, I brought all my cool pocket knives and, and hunting knives and I forgot to bring culinary knives. I think I'm just going to get a kit that has all that so I don't have to worry about it. We brought a lot of stuff that we didn't even need. Uh, I brought with me the um, uh, the hunting knife that I got from Bespoke Post. It's a great cool looking knife, but I found that I didn't really even use it, right? I didn't really need to plant anything with a hori hori knife. I didn't really need to, um, you know in a deer or anything like that so I don't think I need that I did use my pocket knife a lot and I did use my flashlight a lot okay so the things that did work uh, a lot of the videos I saw a lot of overland guys had used these rigid boxes that they bought uh, you buy from Home Depot uh, to kind of organize kitchen stuff and for us it worked great um, you know I don't know why I never did this before but all of our pots and pans and everything at the bottom utensils at the top and you know spices and you know dish rags and all that stuff it was really good worked out really good second thing that worked really good uh, was using our shovel and axe somebody told me I didn't need an axe all right they're like you know if you get stuck in a trail you're not gonna axe your way out you're gonna you know try to winch it uh, winch out branches or go over them or whatever so you I don't know why you need an axe I actually needed the axe um, because when you're doing fire and you're making firewood uh, sometimes you need to um, break down that firewood into smaller pieces so that you can build a fire from there right um, so that was a good thing to have that I was able to chop that stuff down definitely learned a lot from this trip definitely want to come back sooner than later so I can uh, you know fine-tune the things that uh, I need to fine-tune you know you watch all these YouTube videos about how people go camping and overlanding and things like that and you know you want to buy all the cool stuff right you want to buy the you know solar power you want to buy you know uh, generators you want to buy you know camp kitchens things like that and I'm starting to realize why a lot of people like those things because I needed some of those things uh, but I also see that you know, you might buy stuff because you saw it on some cool video and then you found the hype and it looked really cool, you know, and then you bring it and then you never even use it. But at the same time, too, like you don't want to get so caught up in organizing and streamlining the process that you're no longer having fun. Yeah, place is a bit of a mess right now. Camp is a little bit disheveled and we have to do a lot more to pack all the stuff up. But at the same time, like, that's what it's about, right? That's what a, that's what this is about, it's being around family and not, and getting away from home and getting away from, you know, having this system of routine, right? Uh, it's good to have a little bit of it, but don't let it distract you from what's really important, which is having a good time, being in nature, uh, you know? So I that's what I think, and I also think that if I can streamline the process better, where we don't have to think about these things, uh, then that's just gonna make the trip a lot more enjoyable. And the less time I have for setup, and the less time I have for takedown, then the more time I have with my family. Either way, you get out there, have fun, do it, and just go out, man. And if it's messy, it's messy. You know, certain things can get thrown away, certain things will get thrown away, it's fine. Um, you know, and you'll just know better next time on what you do need and what you don't. But either way, just, you know, go out there, have fun, and, you know, make the best of it. Enjoy the time being with family and friends. And at the end of it all, you can get all the cool gadgets and things like that. But if you're not focused on that, on the having fun and just the being there, then you've kind of missed the purpose of why we're doing this to begin with, right?
GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. Dang it. GoPro, stop recording.